Hey students, welcome back. In this set of lessons, we're going to be learning more about variables, but uh, instead of working with strings, we're going to work with numbers. We're actually going to work specifically with integers, which are whole numbers. I'm going to go ahead and show you right now a simple uh, program that I've prepared, and you're going to be preparing one just like this. You can see here on the screen it says, uh, let's do addition. It asks me to enter in my first number, so I'll put in the number 10. Enter a second number, I'm going to put in 3. So I'm imagining we're going to add 10 plus 3, which should give us 13. Very good. Looks like it's working. Now let's say let's do subtraction. So let's put in the number oh, 20, and then let's put in 30. So what do you suspect the answer will, will be? 20 minus 30 minus 10. All right, let's go back to our first numbers. How about 10? We're doing multiplication now. Our second number, 3 again. Uh, 10 times 3, 30. Okay, again, it's still working. And now let's do division with those same numbers. 10, our second number is 3, so 10 divided by 3. Now, what do you think the answer is going to be this time? Hmm, 10 divided by 3, probably an uneven number. Let's look at it. Actually, the answer is 3. We'll talk about why uh, we just got the number 3 there instead of what you might have expected. And finally, let's do what's called modulo modulo operation. And so for that we enter in, uh, we'll enter in 10 again and we'll enter in 3. And so we get the answer 1. That begs the question, well what is modulo? What are we, what are we getting there? What kind of equation is happening? So we've just done five different equations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and something called modulo. We're going to learn about what those are now, those different operators in C++. Let's get rid of the screen. All right, so here we are, mathematical operators in C++. Uh, as you might imagine, the addition operator is simply the plus symbol. And so I've got an example here of what a equation written in C++ might look like. You always put the variable that's going to hold the answer, in this case a variable called answer, you put that on the left, and then you put the assignment operator. So this basically says answer is assigned the value of and then I have two variables, num1 and num2. And so I say num1 plus num2. Have a semicolon at the end of the statement. So it's as easy as that to use the addition operator. Simply place it in between the two variable number variables that you want to add. All right, next, subtraction. Again, as you would suspect, it's the dash symbol on your keyboard. And here we place, again, the variable that will receive the answer on the left. Then we have assignment operator, so the answer is assigned the value of num1 minus num2, semicolon. Next, we have multiplication. Now, we don't use the x symbol, as maybe you were taught early on in your mathematical careers. We use the asterisk symbol, which is on your keyboard above the 8, and that stands for multiplication. So answer is assigned the value of num1 times num2, with a semicolon. Let's go to our next slide here. Division, the division symbol is a slash that leans to the right, and here's how we use it. We say answer is assigned the value num1 divided by, or forward slash, num2. Okay, finally, that one you're maybe not so familiar with, modulo. Modulo gives us the remainder of integer division. So we take two numbers and do integer division, dividing two whole numbers, and we're given a remainder. Okay, we use the percent sign to signify this type of operation in C++. And so here's an example. We say answer is assigned the value num1 modulo num2. And so let's look at an example of that because it might not be too clear. What's the answer going to be when we say 10 modulo 3? Well, we know that 3 goes into 10 three times. When, it, when we multiply 3 times 3, we get 9. So what is the remainder, then, of this integer division? Well, the answer would be 1 in this case. Uh, alrighty, so that's our mathematical operators. And I want to cover one last thing real quickly. When we do math with integers, whole numbers, we have to uh, be aware of how we treat the answer, especially when that answer is not a whole number. For example, here we've declared three variables, integer a, b, and c. They're all integers. a and b have been given an initial value of 10 and 3. 
c has just been declared as an integer but has no initial value. So if we were to say c is assigned the value of a divided by b, we're essentially saying c is assigned the value of 10 divided by 3. But we know that all three of these variables, a, b, and c, are all integers. They're whole numbers. So what do we do when we say 10 divided by 3 and we're left with, we know, 3.3333 is the answer to that equation. What does C become? Is it just, uh, is it 3.3 or just 3? Well, in this case, uh, the answer C will just be 3, okay? Um, because again, it's a whole number and it cannot hold decimal values. So what happens with the decimal remainder uh, in an equation like the one we just went over? Well, you need to know that when you do math with integers, the numbers after the decimal point are dropped. You don't round up, you don't round down, you don't, you just simply drop the values after the decimal point. So let's use a different example. If A is an integer and has the value of 10, and B is an integer that has the value of 6, and C is also an integer, if we do the equation C is assigned the value of A divided by b, we're saying 10 divided by 6, which we know in our head is 1.667. So if we were thinking, now what do I do with the value c? If it's 1.667, but it's an integer and can't hold a decimal value, do I round up to 2, or do I keep it at 1? In this case, we know now that numbers uh, after the decimal point are dropped when we do integer math. So the value of c in this case would be 1. Okay, so that's a quick overview of mathematical equations using integers in C++ and the five most common mathematical operators. Our next assignment is you are going to create a uh, program that uses all five of those mathematical operators.